Hi everybody, so I had set a poll up on my channel where you can do the community tab and I asked if you guys wanted me to show you some of my like budget friendly, how I get my, hold on, let me see how to put this, how I get my home smelling fall ready on a quick budget. I am somebody who has two tiny little dogs, I have a Shih Tzu and I have a Chihuahua, plus I have a cat and they all think they're cats, so they all climb on everything. So my worst fear is one them getting hurt and two my home burning down when i was a this really is irrelevant but i'm gonna tell you this anyway when i was a little girl i was in third grade my family home burnt to the ground there was nothing left nothing was salvageable you know i know it's like material items and we were all safe but like all my toys were burnt down were gone my dolls that i'd been collecting for years it was just such a devastating thing and it was like the family home so everybody just kind of conjugated there and we had family holidays there so it was a devastating thing and you want to know the craziest part about it is you'll never believe the day it happened it happened on april fool's day <laughs> and i can remember my grandfather was at work my mother was at work no actually i was with my mother at the time and my grandmother was at my aunt sorry the sun is like really bright all of a sudden and my grandmother was at my aunt's job and they got a phone call and people thought it was a prank what an evil prank but some my aunt my grandmother and my aunt and my grand no one believed anyone so that's why i'm very very cautious about candles so when i figured out about i'm gonna say it was about the beginning of my marriage so about yeah, i've been married 16 years so about i'm gonna say 12 years ago i realized that wax melts were always more what were the safer route i should say so i switched over to mostly wax melts and i feel like i have a really good nose for scents that go well together so i wanted to share that with you and do it budget friendly because i don't usually buy from like scentsy or anything expensive like that most of my stuff not well actually all of my stuff is from walmart i do have a few candles that i can show you but like I said, most of this is going to be my wax melt. And if this does well and people who like are like receptive to this and they really enjoy it, maybe I'll make this a series and show you more seasonal scents because towards, since it's the beginning of the season, they're just now getting out their fall scents and trying to get rid of last year's fall scents. So when it's a little closer to like Thanksgiving, they'll have some really good scents out. And then Christmas scents are by far my favorite, the best. They have the best Christmas scents at Walmart. So if you guys like this, and you think that it's a good idea every time I find new scents and I have enough to show you maybe we'll do this for you guys make it a little series so if you're new to my channel for that long-winded intro my name is Charlie I love doing home decor I love doing plus-size fashion I love doing things on a budget anything that is lifestyle where it pertains to my life and can be easy and make something easier for you that is what my channel is and if that sounds interesting I would love to have you so let's get started <music> So this is going to be a little more informative. I'm also going to show you, obviously, the wax melts that I love. But I'm also going to tell you where I keep my warmers, things like that. So I have one right here on this bookshelf. You can see the light up top right there. I keep one there. I keep them up high. I keep one in my dining room. I do not put them in the kitchen because from prior experience, I noticed that if it's too close to your refrigerator and cabinets, sometimes things like your butter and things that kind of absorb smells in a way will start tasting like your warmers like my bread every once in a while my husband like the bread tasted like cinnamon and i know it's because my warmers were a little strong that day so i have one there i have one in my upstairs bathroom my bathroom down here my spare bathroom is so tiny it's maybe 70 square feet it's just a little half bathroom and i feel like it's was when i did have one in there it was too strong so I have one in my main bathroom, that's my daughter's bathroom, that's the biggest bathroom in the house. I used to have one in my master bathroom, but again, with one being in my room, it was too much. So I have one in the big bathroom, one in my bedroom, and then we have one in the spare room um, that I don't always turn on. So I have, over the years, kind of concocted scents that I just love, and Walmart is the best. I'm sorry. And when <clears throat> I'm somebody who... I don't know what it is about scents. It's certain scents, certain television shows, certain fabrics bring me a lot of comfort. I know that might be strange to some people, but then there are going to be people that completely understand. I don't buy, so for example, I don't buy multiple perfumes. I have three perfumes 
two for summer, one for winter. I don't change them. I, I have gone nose blind every once in a while, like wearing them forever and ever. Every once in a while, I'll stop being able to smell them and I'll give it a little break and then I'll wear them again. But I don't switch up my perfumes. I don't switch my laundry detergent. I only use the same laundry detergent. Um, it's fabrics. There's a one type of fabric that brings me very big comfort. And I think it's because it's my, and yes, I'm in my 30s and still sleep with a blanket that I got when I was born. My baby blanket, I call it a babby. It's this material of thermal, like a thermal shirt. That material is something that I really, really enjoy. And then scents, like when my home smells a certain way, I have certain smells I like for summer, spring, um, fall, and winter, obviously. And I'm not somebody who likes lavender. Um, I'm sorry, they have great lavender scents, but I'm somebody who lavender to me smells <clears throat> for some reason like cat urine. I know that's so, so weird. But I kept looking, thinking my cat had maybe had an accident and it was my sister was staying here watching my dogs for me and she'd put wild lavender and I hated it. So this is what I keep. I'm sorry, I'm like rambling. I just know, like, I feel like I am really good at this and I'm excited to share with you. So this is what I keep. Um, my scent wax is in. And yes, I buy multiples. When I find something I like, I try to keep them in because then I'll think about it and thinking about it and thinking about it and it makes me crazy. So this scent is my go-to. It is like a comfort smell for me and it is the warm apple pie. When you smell this, I'm telling you, it doesn't have, it doesn't smell like apple. It's very, have you ever been in like a country store? That's what they're like called. They're like usually like old wood buildings and inside you can find like Beanie Babies. I don't even know if they make these stores anymore. You would find candles. Um, like every once in a while there would be like Christmas decor, like uh, Christmas items. Then you could go in the back and they would have dips th that you could sample and buy. And it always smelled like cinnamon and maybe like a little bit of clove. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? And they were always called country stores. Like I'm sure someone knows what I'm talking about. So this is what this one reminds me of. This one goes really, really well with all different scents. So today I'll tell you I'm using two of these bricks. Really, you only need one. They are very strong and they'll last two to three days in your warmer, depending on how much. Sometimes I switch mine out every day. Right now, to save money and everything, I try to let them stretch three to four days if possible. But this warm apple pie one, one of the best fall and winter scents, especially to transition into... Um, Christmas time. This is one of my favorite Christmas scents. And I'm going to show you like, I'll, I'm going to go through them and show you my favorites. And then I'll show you how I pair them. And like, I'll show you how like, I'll look at that and then I'll see something with sandalwood and I kind of can judge what goes well together. <clears throat> this was one that I uh, got from the mainstay. These were a dollar. This one is cashmere and mahogany. I love anything with cashmere in it. They have a warm cashmere one that is so good for winter. They just didn't have it at the store. This one's very, very light. I feel like this would be good if you're somebody who can't do heavy scents and it's very heavier. It's heavier on the mahogany with just like a hint of cashmere. This one's good, but if you're somebody who loves, like if you are somebody who is obsessed with the scent of amber and cashmere, go to Walmart and get the cashmere, um, warm cashmere. It is so good. It reminds me of my mom and that's why I love it because she always wore ambery, perfumes it's amazing so this one is just the, uh the the warm apple pie is sensational this one's better homes and garden and this is cinnamon spicy cinnamon stick sometimes when you get a cinnamon scented item it has that weird apple smell to it i do not like the smell of apple in things this smells like an actual stick of cinnamon there is no mistaking it for anything else it has no hint of anything it smells like you are boiling cinnamon sticks on the stove this scent is an amazing scent for fall and winter what i love about this is it goes well with things because it's just that neutrally uh cinnamon smell there's nothing else in it um what was i going to tell you about this oh there is one that comes out that is uh red hot cinnamon which is so good. It has like a little bit of something sweet in it. So it's just a little bit different than this one that comes out um, probably sometime this, um, the next two months I've seen them come out. 
Um, but this one is so good. Again, it's a spicy cinnamon stick. And if you are somebody who loves cinnamon, this is so good, $2. And this goes amazing with the warm apple pie. As you can imagine, clove and cinnamon smells so good together. That already has like a cinnamony smell to it, but this is amazing. And what's amazing is that people are gonna smell these on you. I always get asked, what am I wearing? Why do you smell like that? And I have to say, it's my wax warmers. So another one from Mainstay, this one is what I have on. I have one, two warm apple pies and a couple of these in, and it's called apple fritter. And it smells like an apple fritter. It's apple, maple, and vanilla. You guys, these are a dollar. If you are on a strict budget, these are amazing. And they have one in cinnamon that I am obsessed with. And when I tell you it lasts for five days, it will smell good for five days. This one, you just need to use an extra one or two of these, but that's okay if you get a week's out of them. This has like a cinnamon and a clove, but you can smell the vanilla and the maple in it as well. Now, let me ask you this. If you're like a really big scented person, does anyone ever notice that like maple or like brownie scented ones kind of have a smell of like throw up? I'm sorry to say that. I used to be obsessed with this one that was like brownie and then all of a sudden it just started smelling like throw up to me and I had to pass on it. So again, I have another one of those cinnamon ones. These are so, so good. So this one has fall in the actual name and this one is, oh wait, does it have the actual, oh, you know what guys, I can read to you the notes in some of these. I didn't realize it. So in the spicy cinnamon stick, it's cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, allspice. Absolutely perfect, um, absolutely perfect description. As you can see, it does not have any apple scent. Um, the warm apple pie just says, I love going to grandma's. So there's no scent on that one. So this one is called Fall Into Autumn, and it is acorns, green apple, apple wood. So I don't really smell the apple in this one. That's probably why I love it. Red cedar is what I smell, leaves and pear scent. When I smell this one, and here it is, Fall Into Autumn, some of these are only a dollar, so definitely check. And this is from Better Homes and Garden. Sometimes when they have them in the big tub at the end of the like end cap, they're only a dollar. So definitely check that out. This one has a big, heavy scent on the pear. It smells like pear. I'm gonna sm I smell the leaves in it, so it's very organic and like woody. And the red cedar is 100% what I smell. I think that's why I smell like a woody and like an organic. So like think of like smoky wood with a little bit of pear, but in the best way possible. And again, that's fall into autumn. S perfect name, perfect scent. Then this one also has the name Autumn. This one's from Sensational. This does have the actual notes in it. And this one is Golden Amber and Balsam. It's a beautiful packaging. It's a green um, wax melt. Most of them have been red. This one is very uh, like a masculine scent. It smells, I feel like what I'm smelling is the amber like, and the balsam, obviously. It's very masculine, but it's so good. So this one would go really, really well with something sweeter, like a cinnamon. Very, very, like your husband just got out of the shower and he smells super duper clean, but has like a hint of that masculine, ambery smell. This one is really, really, really nice. Um, Amber or Autumn Valley really, really describes this well. It's clean and fresh, but has like that hint of something smoky and masculine, if that makes sense. This one's really, really good. Okay, so I'm gonna show this one, even though it's probably more of a summer scent, I feel like it's a good scent to transition into the early fall, like how it's still September and it's still, ch it's like chilly in the morning, but gets kind of hot during the afternoons, at least where I am. So I feel like this one, excuse me, I have to adjust, is a good transition into fall. And it's called Take a Hike. It's cool waters, fresh air, and pine. So I feel like the pine is what makes it a good transition scent. And I feel like some scents I strictly use for bathroom scents. They will not be used in any other part of my house. There's this one, um, it's called By the Beach, is only a bathroom scent. I don't know how to explain it. Some smells only are good for your bathroom. And this is one of them in my opinion, and there's nothing wrong with that. This one is a very, 
it's very clean it smells like when the air is a little like these are really weird descriptions okay so it's a little bit of a crisp air a little bit of crisp air with a little bit of cleaning product like pine saw kind of but in a but if you had pine saw mixed with a little bit of water like a like a clean smell with a little bit of pine salt this one's a good one it's called take a hike from sensationals and that's kind of what it smells like i know some of these say limited edition but they always have them um i smell the pine with the fresh air this one's really good transition but again that is strictly for my bathroom so the next one i'm sorry this is going to be a longer video i know not everybody loves them but i get very passionate if you can tell about scents so i think some people might love this one and like I said, if it does well, I will make sure I kind of shorten them up. This is just the first one. And this one is a new find and I am so impressed and I will be buying as many as I can find. And it's called Birchwood and Bonfire. I love the packaging. It's the gray, it's Birchwood, um, sorry, white birch, oak, cedar, moss, amber, oud, and spice notes. When I tell you this smells like a Halloween night, like you have a bonfire, you're eating candy corn and drinking like drinking um like apple uh, what's it called apple cider this smells like the a bonfire in the best way possible again it's called birchwood and and bonfire i smell mostly the moss which i know is weird it has a little bit of a masculine scent um i'm definitely smelling the cedar you guys, this one is really, really, really fall and winter appropriate, and I hope they keep it around. It doesn't say limited edition. This one is so good. It smells so, so good with a cinnamon scent. So this one's going to go super well with that warm apple pie or the cinnamon stick. Amazing. Now, when I tell you I mix them, I don't want you to think I put both scents in the same warmer. So in one warmer, I'll do one scent and one warmer, I'll do something different. And that's how I compliment them. I don't mix them. I don't put them both in the same warmer. I don't know what that would do. If you've tried it, let me know down below if you've actually mixed them in the same warmer. I don't do that. I just mean in the air, they complement each other. But that Birchwood and Bonfire is one of the best. And I can't believe I've never smelt it before. Now, newer ones that I, oh, here we go. Never mind. not a new one yet. This one is incredible. This one's from Better Homes and Garden. I hope, I haven't seen these yet. I'm hoping they bring these back. In case they do, I want to tell you. So it's called Red Berry and Oak. It's Red Currant, Black Rose, Patchouli. Patchouli is one of my favorite scents. I love it. Bergamot, Tuberose, Oak Moss, Oud, and Vel uh, Vitifer scent notes. Red Berry and Oak. This one is so it's so good. It has a, when you first smell it, you might be like, ooh, that kind of smells like an old lady, but it burns differently. I promise you. And every year around Christmas time and this, right this time in Christmas, they come out with these spearmints. So they're either mint scented ones or spearmented. And I'm going to tell you something. I don't have one with me, but this red berry and oak goes so, it might, you might not think it does, goes so good with spearmint in the air. So if you do one block and one with spearmint and this, something about the berry and the mint together, just like it, it's going to remind you of a Christmas bazaar. Is that weird? When we were in Catholic school, we had Christmas bazaars and it always had a very distinct smell. I'm sure it's all the cinnamons and potpourris, but something about this and you mix this with spearmint, it just, it reminds me of my childhood. This is very heavy on the red currant and I'm going to say the rose and the patchouli stand out to me. Very, very nice. Very good. I love this. And if you find this, pick up like a mint scent to complement it. There's one that's a bergamot and mint that goes amazing with this. I wish I had them. I'm just waiting for them to bring out more fall scents. These are what I have found so far. They still have a lot of their summer scents out. These are the ones that stood out to me that I wanted to recommend to you that aren't your typical like pumpkin pie or pumpkin roll or pumpkin cookie of course those are good i love those i don't buy them often because i don't love the smell of pumpkin because it always has that apple spice to it that i don't love these are unique scents that i think are going to be universally loved by everybody so i wanted to share them 
Okay, so I have two more scents for you guys. We'll wrap it up and then, like I said, you can let me know down below if you would like me to kind of turn this into like a little series for you. I can do every season, show you stuff that is new because I'm always buying these. So this one, you guys... I'm saving my favorite for last. This is my second favorite that I have found this season, and it is by far one of the best smells. So this one is called, it's from Better Homes and Garden, Roasted Chestnut and um, Acorn. I know I didn't, at first wasn't going to pick it up. It's ro Fire Roasted Chestnuts, Acorn, Ginger, Pumpkin, Hickory, Maple, and Tonka. Tell me that doesn't sound incredible. It it's like it's so good it's so good the other day I kept saying to my husband did you spray cologne did you did you spray something and I forgot that it was these scents they're like oh it's so good I smell the hickory I'm sorry the lighting keeps getting bright the sun is like comes out of the clouds and I like to film with natural lighting because I feel like it just looks better this that hickory is so prevalent it almost smells like wood chips I definitely smell the ginger the ginger is like the ginger pumpkin but in a good like in the goodest the goodest way possible the best way possible and I definitely smell that tonka it is so good and the chestnuts of course this is so good again it's roasted chestnut and acorns this smells so 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 good mixed with warm apple pie and this smells amazing with cinnamon stick. These are amazing scents and I love them. So last but certainly not least, the name is probably going to throw you off a little bit because you might think old lady. But I'm telling you, I have never smelt something so, so good as this one. Again, it's Better Homes and Garden and it's Rose and Sandalwood. I know that might kind of throw people off. So let me tell you what the notes are. Okay, so the notes are clove, sandalwood jasmine which i love rose sweet pea and i don't smell the sweet pea and mandarin sorry mandarin leaf look how beautiful the packaging so when i saw it i was like oh i do love the scent of rose as i got older i kind of gravitated towards that scent and i like it a little bit better but let me tell you something when you first open it it smells like a very clean scent you definitely get the jasmine that's the strongest the jasmine is definitely the strongest. I smell that over anything. And then you get a really heavy scent of sandalwood. I don't smell rose, but I do definitely know sweet pea in it. But the jasmine and the sandalwood very much stand out to me when you first open it. But when it burns, something about it when it melts, every scent here kind of has it, it, it's just it stands out you know how like when perfume dries down you get the first layer second layer and then when it completely dries down you get that like what the true scent is in a way that's what this reminds me of at first it smells different and then it smells a little more different and then a little different it's so good I don't even know how to describe it again it's this uh, rose and sandalwood this lately I've been doing this one with the roasted acorn these are going to be probably my go-to all winter these are going to be my favorite over warm apple pie everything these are all upstairs so today i have the warm apple pie and apple apple fritter 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 down here and then upstairs i have these going it just smells and my windows are open because it's kind of nice out so let me tell you something it just smells so so good so please if any of the scents that i have showed you today you try out let it be rose and sandalwood and uh, roasted chestnuts and acorns all two dollars sometimes a dollar just depends these are absolutely my favorite fall scents i really 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 hope this helps somebody if you guys like this like sitting here jittering with my hair let me know down below so i know to continue to do this and if it's not something you want to enjoy then definitely let me know that too so i don't keep making them but i can't imagine you not wanting to be like your home smelling good. Everybody loves their home to smell good. And especially if you can do it on a good budget, especially right now with everything going on. So I hope this helps somebody. I hope you stick around and subscribe. I would love to have you here. I will link my social media down below. My TikTok, I do a lot of fashion related stuff. Most, 90% uh, of it is fashion related, like my outfit of the days, things that I just don't feel like are appropriate to make a full video on always. I love filming outfit of the days here, but 
I just do quick little ones there. So if this helped anybody, I would love you to let me know down below. And like I said, if you would like me to continue this series, I will. I love sharing with you how to make your home smell amazing on a budget. And I really hope this helps somebody. And I will see all of my beautiful friends in the next video. Bye, guys.